In this video, I'm going to show you how you can refill these propane cans using this device and a five gallon propane tank. Now, if we've never met, my name is Jason and this is my channel, The Life to Live For. And welcome to the homestead. So, if anybody out there has ever had, you know, like a little propane stove or one of those little tabletop grills or even a little heater, they're familiar with these propane tanks made by Coleman they're called one pounders and uh, typically you just buy them at the store and I think you know Walmart currently carries them for six or seven dollars for a pair of them you use them up and then you throw them away well thanks to this device you can now refill these and it's actually not a new device it's not new technology it's been around for quite a while and it's kind of surprising that uh, not more people know about it. Now I'll take you over here and we'll uh, show you how to refill them. And so we have our 20 pounder tank and our five gallon. We have our little one pounder. And before we get started, I want to point out that right here on the label, it says never refill this cylinder. Refilling may cause explosion. So I am not at all advocating that you refill these. I'm just saying that I do it, and this is how I do it. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and take the little adapter we have here, and I will have this down in the description. You know, a link to this in the uh, in the Amazon website, and so you can grab one yourself. Go ahead and put this on the big tank. And it screws on just the opposite direction that you would screw anything else on. It's got reverse threads on it. <clears throat> I don't have a uh, crescent wrench big enough, so use good old channel locks here. And tighten it down. just take your little can and screw it on there the adapter <clears throat> and you got to turn it upside down hanging it over a ledge so that there's space for this to hang down because it won't sit flat if you have it on a flat surface and you just reach in turn the valve on and you can actually hear the propane going from the big tank to the little tank. Now, typically I wait, you know, 45 seconds, maybe a minute at the most and let it fill. Uh, a lot of the times you can hear it actually stop flowing and you can stop it at that point in time. But I typically, you know, just wait that 45 seconds to a minute. And then I have heard of uh, some people putting this can in the fridge to cool it down to try to get more in there. I've heard of people filling it like this, taking it off, uh, purging some of the air in there, doing it again. <clears throat> but for me, doing this just once, you know, 45 seconds to a minute, that'll fill it, you know, probably about three quarters of the way full. It's a nice safe level. You don't, you know, I don't run much of a risk of it exploding or overpressurizing. And then once the 45 seconds has passed, I'll go ahead and turn this valve back off and flip it back over. Then I unscrew it. Now in some of these, this one in particular, when you unscrew it, it actually releases the little bit of pressure that's sitting right here in the adapter itself. It's nothing to be afraid of, you know, it'll just hiss for a half a second. And then you got a full tank. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you like this video and would like to see more like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the bell icon so you can get the notifications. And until next time, keep kicking up dust.